Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designing techtips.com. We got a great one for you today. We've done this previously, but somebody's asked for it, so we're going to do it again. We've got a full screen, full width video background here with a little slider over the top. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today at all. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down. I'm going to add a new section, a little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section reminder. You could, could use a full width if you wanted to, but there's less modules to choose from with full width, so I'm going to use a regular one. Inside, I'm going to put a single column. Inside that, I'm going to put a slider, funnily enough. There it is right there. Great. I'm going to leave that just like it is. I'm going to roll up. Let's get rid of this section up here and we'll start from scratch. Okay. I've got a section here, as you can see, with our little slider module in it. The reason it's up here is because I've got a transparent header on mine. So it's going all the way to the top. I can give it a bit of extra space by going in here and giving it some spacing. But I'm actually going to leave it as it is for the minute. So let's go into our little slider module here and get it as we want it. Start tab for the module. By default, it puts in two slides. I'm going to delete the second one. Let's make our slides the way we want them by going into the actual slide itself. Obviously, put in your title there. If you want a button, put what you want it to say in there. Obviously, the text is down here. You can add images or video, and they will push the text to the right, and the video or image will appear on the left. I'm not going to do that as we're going to have a video background. Here's the link for your button right here. If you want the whole module to link to somewhere, you can put another link in right there if you need to. I'm going to go in here. I'm actually going to take that background away. I'll go into background, hitting the little trash can. By default, it has that sort of green background on there. Now, just so we can see this better, I'm going to save what I've got going on here. I'm going to put a simple black background or dark background in our little section up here and you notice like i say because we've got a transparent header it'll cover the top let's just use black for now so you can see what's going on great well there's our first slide which is fine let's just style out that title a little bit more and we'll replicate it go back into our first slide here oh design and title I was using a blocky font called Anton before. That will be up in my recents up here. If you want to choose a different font, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm going to go back to the Anton that I had there. And I'm just going to roll down. I'll make that text size or text spacing. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit. And the line height, let's make that perhaps 3M. Just gives it a bit more breathing room there. Fantastic. The reason my button's green is that's the way I've got my buttons styled in the customizer there. But if you wanted to, you can customize it any way you like over here in design. We'll close up the title. There's a button there to customize it. Just switch that switched on. You can make it any style you want. Great. Now we've got our first one and we're sort of happy with what's going on there. We can replicate it. So let's save our changes here. There's our first one. I'm going to hit two little boxes, duplicate once. All I'm going to do for mine is just change out that title so you can see it changing from one to the other when I automate it in a minute. And yes, this is going to be number three. And obviously add as many or as few slides as you need there. Okay, well, let's automate this thing. Let's save, go back to our main slider settings. To automate this, go over to design. We roll down at the bottom. Here's animation. Under the animation styles here, we've got automatic animation. Now, here's a question that comes up every time I do a slider. I get a lot of people saying, well, I've gone down to design and animation, and there's no automatic animation switch down there. If that's the case, you're probably in one of your slides. So if I go back to the content here in the main slider settings, and we go into one of the slides, design, roll down the bottom, 
there's no animation there at all. If that's the case, like I say, you're probably in one of your slides. Hit the little green check mark, take you back to the main slider settings. Now, if we go to design, you'll find your animation down there. I'm going to switch it to on. Automatic animation speed is set to seven seconds by default. That's okay. But if you want to change it, just type your new value in there. 6,000 milliseconds, that would be six seconds. If you want it to continue rolling when they hover over it, you can switch that to on. I'm going to leave it off because I like them to be able to put their mouse on it. It'll stop, give them time to read the text and get to that call to action button if they want to. Great. Well, I'm happy with the way that's rolling around. Let's put our little video background in. I'm getting my video today for a free site called pexels.com and it's great for stock photos and videos. I went to pexels.com. I selected videos rather than photos. I just put in a search for a city. Mine came up with this one. Now, don't go ahead and hit the download button because if you do, you're going to get the highest resolution image that they've got of this version. And you want to try and keep the size as small as possible. Now for mine, I just clicked on it, left clicked. It opens up in a new window. A little drop down here, left click on it. You can choose what size you want to download here. Now the one I used was actually high definition, which was about three megabytes. I could have probably got away with standard definition. In fact, let's try both. I've got that one downloaded already. Select the one you want. Hit download, select size. Fantastic. Now, if we go back to the page here, what I'll do is first I'll put in the higher definition one by going into the section itself. You can always find background under the content tab or all sections, rows and modules. Fourth tab along is background video. Now I've downloaded an MP4, so let's add it. Now here's the one I added earlier. It's the MP4 of the higher res version of it, which is three megs. Let's check this one out. And by default, it's going to loop. Well, that looks pretty good to me. That's fairly sharp. I hope my uh, screen recording software makes it look as sharp as it actually looks to the naked eye there. And that's going to roll around every couple of seconds. Just for interest value, let's try the smaller one. Just have another look, see how detailed that one is right there, which is not bad. It's 720. That's pretty sharp. Let's go back in here by simply left clicking on it. We're going to drag the smaller file over, which is only 540. And size wise, it's two megabytes. So we saved a third. Let's see what the difference is. Yeah, that's not actually too bad. Could have got away with that. I think I prefer the other one. Obviously, I'm using fairly fast hosting here. So it's running it fairly well. I'm going to put the other one back in. Just thought I'd show you a difference there. So let's trash this one. And like I say, depending on your hosting, there's our 720. Fantastic. If you want to make it full screen, really easy. If we go into our section here, we can go into design. You can either do it with a bit of padding, which we will find in spacing, or you can go into sizing just up above. We can give it a minimum height. Let's say, let's try 90 viewable height, 90 VH. Not quite. We'll make it 100 as we've got No header up there. Perfect. We've now got a full screen, full width slider there. And if you want to push this down, we can add a bit more padding to the top. It won't affect the bottom there. That was just up in the spacing above. Or below, I should say. As you can see, that's pushed that down a little bit. When you're happy, just save. And if you need to, you can change it for mobile devices. For anybody who doesn't know this, if you hover over the dark writing within the module, 
see these little icons appear. If you click on the little mobile phone type icon, you can set different sizes for tablet and phone also. So we should be good to go. Let's save our changes here. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's take the visual builder. And there we have it. Nice little full screen, full width video background with mobile slider over the top. Now that title is just about where I want it, right in the middle of the screen there. If you wanted to adjust that, of course, you could do so by taking that padding away that we put in there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.